Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan uh, coming to you here to talk about day two of the League of Legends Nest tournament. We had a very successful day yesterday uh, coming up with predictions for the matches, not only the winners of those uh, the, the matches, but also the kill upside. Um, our subscribers and the watchers um, had a very successful and uh, profitable slate yesterday by playing IG. That was my favorite play of the day. So hopefully we rolled that, you know, streak going. So, yeah, without any further ado, let's dive in. Um, I just wanted to point out before I go into the slate, um, this is the Nest official Weibo website that I just want to make sure everybody knows to where to check for the starter confirmation. So last year, uh, yesterday, uh, the starter confirmations came out at about 11 o'clock p.m. Eastern time um, on this website. So I just wanted to let you know, let everybody know uh, that this is where probably going to be where the starters will be posted officially. So I just wanted to let you know, Weibo is like a Facebook or Twitter for uh, China. So that's where they, that's the social media platform that they use to uh, provide that kind of information. So yeah, so that's where you would find it. Some people ask me that question, so I'm giving you the answer. So um, yeah, so yeah, let's dive into today's slate. Um, AL versus IG. We've seen some of these teams play already now. So I think I have a pretty good sense as to, you know, you know what they look like and what their outlook should be based on their first two games of the tournament. OMG versus LNG and then BLG versus JDG. Today is a three game slate um, compared to yesterday's four game slate. And I just wanted to correct myself. Yesterday I said these games are best of threes, but they're not. For some reason, they're best of twos. Uh, so there is no game not played bonus um, where you would see it in a best of three or best of fives in an odd number series. But this is a best of twos for some reason in this group stage. Uh, so... So you really, really, you just want to make sure you play the teams um, for their upside, right? Like for their kill upside, you know, even if they lose, I mean, they, they could be participating in a high kill game, right? High octane, you know, kill fiesta game that, you know, you just want to get a part of, get a piece of, right? So that's kind of the strategy I think you need to kind of, uh, you know, go for on these uh, slates for Nest, at least until they go into the bracket stage where, you know, they are playing best of threes or fives or whatever the case is. So, yeah, anyway, um, so AL versus IG, we saw both teams <clears throat> yesterday, but I do want to bring up the starters or I guess, yeah, the starters do the starters. So this is the... Um, True DFS Discord. We were very active last night. Um, I'll scroll up where the starters were posted here yesterday. Um, AL, yeah, like I watched this. I think this was the first game against BLG. Um, I mean, I, I, I wanted to say I want. I, I do want to give credit to AL. But BLG has just looked really bad, and I think it was more BLG's fault that they tied one to one in the best of two. Um, Urha was very impressive to me, and Real Life was pretty good. I thought. Um, I just wanted to say, but, but though I think AL is kind of um, overhyped, or just like over over overrated. I guess yeah, overrated is the term. Just you know, just based on the eye test, I just did not see anything legitimate. I think they're gonna struggle against actually decent teams that have team good team fighting team uh team fighting teams. And then IG happens to be one of them. I was high on IG yesterday, and I'm high on IG again today. So I think IG is definitely gonna take care of business. I think they're gonna roll. I think they're gonna take the series wins two to zero. 
pretty handedly and I, and and as as i mentioned they play pretty fast um and blg plays slow so i think al's like kill upside was a little more limited because of the matchup against blg yesterday going up against ig i think i'm going to say this is a fast matchup too uh medium to fast to fast kill upside <laughs> medium to high kill upside i'm sorry Um, anyway, so that's probably where I'm going to go. I mean, Tianjin and MG and then on had a lot of kills, but I think it was more in the top half of the map. Then he and Tianjin and MG played really, really well, in my opinion. Um, so I like IG a lot here today as well. All right. OMG versus LNG. We saw them as well. Um, OMG. Cream did not look very good. He was the reason why I was thinking about picking OMG for any like one of my lineups, but he just did not look that great, right? So, um, and then LNG looked much better than I anticipated. They beat Ultra Prime, and they probably played really well. So, um, just given all of that, I think LNG has a pretty chance. I think, um, I think OMG is heavily favored here because of. Cream and Jerry and Munyan and played few games in the LPL. Um, but it's surprising that LNG is such a big underdog here. I mean, I want to see the score real quick. Yeah, it was 20 to 7, right? Yeah, 20 to 7 and uneasy played really well. Say to carry. Mm. Yeah, this was a tight match, seventeen to seventeen, right? So that tells me the Ultra Prime uh, increased the kill upside for them as well, and LNG is willing to play at that pace as well. So I'm gonna say medium now, just given that. Um, I think this is this could turn out to be. I want to look at the OMG's uh, kill upside here, 21 to 5 in favor of Team WE, who had has a very strong team, right? 21 to 5, 18 to 1. I mean, they were just, they got thumped. I mean, I know Team WE played really well, very impressive, but OMG just could not do anything. So I that tells me that I think LNG can definitely pull this off. Um, I think it's going to be a tie. I think OMG, LNG ties one to one. It's so weird saying that because it's a best of twos. So I've never done that before. Um, but it, so that, I guess that the better question is what's the kill upside going to be for this matchup, right? Just based on what I saw yesterday, I mean, I think this is going to be the fastest matchup of the day. Um, I'm going to say high kill upside just based on what I saw out of OMG going up going up against the much superior uh team WE and then LNG was willing to play fast even though they um were projected to be the slowest of all teams yesterday on yesterday's slate um playing against UP who likes to play fast i mean they were they were uh, able to keep up the pace in the first game and then even in the second game they were they had 20 kills. I think half of the kills were at the fault of W uh, Ultra Prime, but still, I mean, with their them willing to kind of roll a snowball right here, I think I think that's really good. So I think that's a good sign in terms of kill upside for us uh, fantasy players. So I like this matchup to target. Um, my favorite play today is I'm gonna say. OMG LNG match. So either side. I think OMG um, provides a good leverage uh, off of BLG today. I think BLG, I'll talk about this in the next matchup here, but BLG is the biggest favorite. But I think this is going to be a more, uh, the slowest match uh, of all three games today. BLG, like I said, did not look great at all. Um, I think they struggle so much, especially Khan. Um, I don't know if who's going to start at 80 carry. Daco played pretty well, except 
he made the same types of mistakes that I saw him make last season, which are so frustrating. So frustrating. Uh, I know he can, he, he was a great player for PSG talent and all that, but in the LPL, he had just been struggling and struggling. I just feel like until they solve that problem and then they solve the issue at jungle, I think they're going to struggle and pins in the mid lane. I didn't know who he was until I watched them, but he's not that impressive. Uh, I don't know how they're this big of a favorite at minus 1000. I know JDG um, did not play well either, um, but BLG just looked horrible. I mean, like IG just rolled over them. I mean, you see IG beat them, what, 27 to 5? Uh uh, JDG, I mean, uh, 24 to 12. I mean, JDG put up some fight in the second game, but man, BLG has looked even horrible. Like, let me show you right here. In the second game, it was like 26, yeah, 26 to 18. Wow. So it's just back and forth in the second game. But man, look at this one right here. Um, first game, they did okay. But it didn't, I mean, that's the thing, right? Like BLG, they're very slow to kind of take the advantage and roll with that and then finish the game. They're just not good at doing that, right? Like I know they're probably individually better laners than any of the individual opponents like on the other team, but they just as a team don't know how to win. Like they don't know how to play objectives. They don't know how to put pressure on the map. Uh, you know, from the big picture standpoint, they just don't know how to do that. They just don't know how to win. Um, they don't know how to take the advantage and win the game. So I think that's going to bite them in the ass. Um, but at the end of the day, I think they're a better team and better laners. Uh, so I think BLG should win probably as bad as JDG has looked. But but I would not be surprised if JDG takes one game. So, and given all of that, and then the kill upside, like I said, I, I think it's going to be low, medium to low kill upside. Um, so I think they, uh, BLG, JDG match is projected to be the slowest, in my opinion, um, compared to the other matches. So, yeah, I mean, I think I'm going to go with OMG, LNG. I think LNG makes a very interesting uh, GPP pick. Um, since they're the underdog in that matchup, but I like that match overall for the kill upside, which I think it should be the mo one of the mo more important factors to look at in these best of two series is, uh, you know, given the absence of the game not played bonus for fantasy purposes. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys have any questions, let me know, you know, where to reach out at the FS chain on Twitter or on YouTube or on discord. So and again, this video was sponsored by True DFS. So go check out their channel below and please, please hit the like button below. It would mean a lot to me and to True DFS. Uh, it gets me going and keeps me doing these videos. Yeah. Good luck out there and have fun out there. Glad to we glad that we still have LOL, right? <laughs> have a good one. Bye bye.